you know, earlier I was kind of confused. You had uh, spoke on Bibby and you said like he kind of went the commercial route. Were you saying like when he first got signed or like just like recently type shit? Ah, uh, when he first got signed. So he stopped like claiming no limit altogether? I want to know, folks. He's like, he just feel back from that shit, folks. His name ain't never been no no limit baby on yeah. Instagram, no shit like that. He always, you know, once he started rapping, he like, once he started rapping, he just, he knew that shit probably looked a little more presentable. Like, oh yeah, my name, Lil Bibby, you know, that's my rap name. I'm just, that's gonna be my Instagram name. Like, I ain't gonna say he just took the shit out of his name and just, Motherfucker, I talked to him, you know. I talked to him here yeah, the other day. But, you know, but it's like, he just, bro, just took the commercial out and just fell off the gas, too. And that's why motherfucker, like, be showing her so much love, cause, like, baby, you ready from the hood, and that shit was looking like, yeah, motherfucker, motherfucker made, you making it look like we got to fuck with a new nigga. You are, you are a real homie. You just fell off of us like that. Yeah, this is nigga that is, you know? So it's like, bro just went the whole commercial route, right? you know? He he got a 106 and park all type of shit before that shit ended. That's why I knew this rap shit was gonna be real and shit. Like, that shit got real. I was proud of him. I'm damn, for I never seen no nigga I know personally on 106 and park. Like, this my real homie, like my blood cousin on 106. You know what I'm saying? Like, this. That shit made me happy for them. I'm like, damn. I never even thought they was going to get that big for us. Like, that shit got real out the blue, for We ain't expect that shit. But shit, you know. Mm. So with him, cause, uh, you know how you were saying, like, with her, you don't really, you ain't really interested in, like, fixing a relationship. Like, with him, do you feel like motherfuckers would be more open to fuck with Bibby? Or it's, like, the same situation? I feel like all that shit too old. Like, a motherfucker could do what they want to do. But I feel like all that shit too old to do. Like, we lost souls out here now, fuck. Now, motherfucker got to move on, next chapter, have kids. All that balling up. Ball. We can still ball out with our niggas and shit. Like, go on trips and shit. But it's like, we still reminiscing about 10 niggas and shit. Like, damn, bro just died. Oh, I never thought he'd die. We on trips thinking about that type of shit. Like, damn, I wish phone on myself. Shit like that. Like, how the fuck, how the fuck we supposed to be happy, you know? We out here, it's taking a long, by the time we touch money, you know, every nigga dream, every street nigga dream to make sure they OG happy. That ain't only one nigga dream, make sure they grandma happy and shit like that. You wanna, you, if niggas grew up in them household, like we ain't having shit, and had to struggle for certain shit, and, Bull water and shit for hot water sometimes and all type of other shit. Ain't got shit in the crib but hot dogs. Every yeah, nigga wanna get rich and say, I can't wait till I make my OG not happy. When I get old, you know, I wanna do this and do that. But it's like, that shit be, now nah, motherfucker can't even, motherfucker ain't even, can't even, niggas let, say, I don't, I don't wanna put that shit on a nigga either though, like, Make it seem like that's their fault. Niggas ain't boss up or no shit like that. Cause a nigga gonna be a fuck up, a nigga gonna be a fuck up. You can't force no nigga to get money. Like certain niggas don't got the potential for it. Certain niggas want this shit. Certain niggas don't want this shit. Certain niggas, certain niggas like, certain niggas like shit. Satisfied with being fresh. They got two to five thousand to their name. Certain niggas want real, got real goals like, man, I'm for the get rich, I'm for the bad store, I'm for the bad building, I'm for the bad house so I can rent it out. If it be my goal, I don't want to be on no street shit all my life. You know, certain niggas want to run it up and do all type of shit. It ain't, every yeah, nigga ain't got that hustling mentality for so. Folk them probably be thinking all type of shit too, like, man, them niggas fuck ups. If we give niggas some shit, them niggas ain't gonna, them niggas ain't gonna do nothing. Them niggas think that shit rocky for like, them motherfuckers gonna be like, if we give back to a motherfucker, they gonna be calling the next week saying, we need some more. This is that, they, this is that fucking them coming. They gonna be calling the next week saying, we need some more. Like, how the fuck you know? 
You ain't never gave the guy shit. This, this, there'd be niggas' reasons for stopping shit like, Ben, I ain't finna shut our shelf up and feed you. So we gonna spoon feed a nigga. We ain't gonna give a nigga no whole bowl of, of soup. We gonna give a motherfucker a spoon and say, I know you still hungry, fuck. You know where this bowl at when you, when you hungry, though. That's how niggas coming. Fuck, won't you give a nigga that whole bowl? This is a grown ass man. Why won't you give a nigga a whole bowl of soup? Nigga gonna give a nigga a spoon, cause they don't want, they, they scared a nigga gonna run back up and say, man, I just ate that whole bowl of soup. You know, I just ate that whole bowl of soup. Can I get a refill? I'm still a little hungry a little bit. Motherfucker, like, damn, you still hungry? You wanna know if a nigga might be full off that one bowl? I don't know, man. I'm just be talking for I'm a goofy. <laughs> I just, uh, I'm a hating ass nigga. I might be a lot of hating ass niggas after this shit. I don't know. I know I don't need no nigga for shit. The only reason I had asked the last question about like what Bibby like, uh, could it be fixed with him? Cause I was thinking like, you know, maybe he might watch this interview and hear like y'all perspective and, and you know, change his mind or change the way he went about shit. Cause you know, sometimes people really just don't understand what motherfuckers really got going on cause they so far gone from it type of shit. No, like, I know what be going on, it ain't shit. That shit be like, four of them got a life too, don't get me wrong. I done been around them and know they got a life. They living, they living on a different budget now. They rent high seal, 10,000, 15,000, they got big cribs. Nah, you know, four of them ain't understand this shit, but it ain't about what four of them understand. It's like, if you could have did, you could have got four of them out the way, yeah, they won't even be looking at you, worry about what you gotta do, like, you know, but at the end of the day, they got their own life too. But this shit ain't about that, it's like, this shit all about niggas giving back, and they never did that. That's all it is. They got their own life too, I respect that. Cause I know I feel the same way, but a motherfucker be having more than enough to f do something for a motherfucker and never do it. But they do it for a bitch they just met. Quick. So this is a question, you know, everybody want me to ask. It's the uh, the situation at McDonald's. The first thing I want to ask it was like, was it something that happened leading up to that situation, or was that like some? A lot of shit happened.